pretend I'm going to teach you, even though you're not doing this step of problem. But what I want to show you is how to uh, um, add and subtract complex numbers. So the first thing we look at this and we see that we have a square root of negative 8. And you can't take the square root of a negative number. All right. So what we're going to have to do is um, we're going to have to simplify these radicals. So I'm just going to kind of do these on the side. Let's have the square root of negative 8 and square root of, I'm sorry, square root of negative 50. So when I want to simplify my radical, remember what you want to do is you want to take, look inside what the radical is, and uh, we want to see what can we take the square root of. So if you look at, you can take your square root of your, what we call square numbers, which would be 4, let's go back to 9, 1, 16, 25, 36, and it goes on and on and on. Well here, I know I can take the square root of um, 4, and, and it also goes into the square root of negative 8. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this as uh, 4 times a negative 2. All right? And I now I can break this up and do the square root of 4 times the square root of negative 2. Square root of 4 is 2. Square root of negative 2. Now, you still can't. There's no two numbers that multiply to give you a negative 2. So what you're going to want to do is we need to say, well, let's break this up into 2 square root of 2 times the square root of negative 1. All right, because negative 1 times 2 is going to give you negative 1. And one thing you guys should know about this is, what is the square root of negative 1? Well, that's what we call in complex numbers i. So if I can rewrite this as negative i, what this really is is 2 times square root of 2 times i. So let's now, I can probably rewrite square root of negative 8 as negative 2 plus 2 square root of 2i. Now let's go and look at 50. 50, since it's negative, I can factor out my negative 1. So really, this is going to look like a square root of 50 times a negative 1, which would really be square root of 50 times i. Then, what square number goes into 50? Well, that's good. I can rewrite this as square root of 25 times 4 and then i at the end. The square root of 25 is 5. I'm sorry, that's 2, isn't it? The square root of 25 is going to be 5 times 2i. So plus 5 minus 5 times square root of 2 i. All right, so now that we have this, all setting up. So now what I've done is I've simplified my radicals, and now what I need to do is I need to add them. So the main important thing when adding radicals is we need to make sure that you can only add the real components and the imaginary components. So when we're looking at a uh, complex numbers, we have this is a plus bi, and this would be c plus di. All right, and that's, you know, we have a negative 5 as our D, or negative 5 times square root of 2 is our D. Uh, but what you need to know is I can only add my reals to my reals and my imaginary to my imaginaries. So I'm just going to rewrite this as a negative 2 plus 5, and then uh, plus a 2 square root of 2 plus a negative 5 square root of 2i. All right? So negative 2 plus 5 is going to give you a, a positive 3. Now let's see. Since these are the same radical, I can combine them. 2 square root of 2 minus a negative 3 is going to give you a, a negative 3 square root of 2i. No. So that will be my um, final answer. It is in standard form.